Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the week 40 update for the GoTanks account. And since we are in the beginning of October, GoTanks is officially over nine months old, which is crazy. You know, I started this, I was, wasn't even sure I was going to start it until I did. And that was the very beginning of the year. And it's going good so far. 2.58 million. I think I, I had a decent bit of growth in the past week. I went back to a more coherent team in arena. Uh, I mean, things are going pretty good across the board. The Chromium thing, and that, I mean, I updated after the last, last Grand Arena. That's, next season, it's going to be tough. I, I got a lot of work to do in fleets, um, and I'll talk about that. But first of all, I want to show uh, where, I, where I spent some crystals and took a stab at the new Trove Pack, and, well, you'll see. All right, I am in the store here, and they just introduced this Trove Pack. A thousand crystals, and you can get one character completely done at seven stars. I've been wondering for a while what to spend my excess crystals on, because it's hard to find something that is that valuable to just give away the crystals when you get them so slowly. My my uh, my budget. I need to spend 750 a day for the energy refreshes, and I've been able to maintain that, get above it between DB rewards and then GAC rewards. But I think I'm definitely gonna get this. And you know, there's a lot of chances to get a real stinker or a character that I already have. Worst case scenario is I get a terrible character that I don't already have at seven stars. Second worst case scenario, I get a character I already have at seven stars and I get charge up currency. Best case scenario, I get a good character that is hard to farm. And a thousand crystals, I, it's hard to pass it up. I think they used to do it at 5,000. So they're all not, they're not all brand new characters, but some of them are kind of new. Uh, I think they're all, they might all be accelerated characters, but. Let's do it. And that is not a good pull. And what was that sound? Dun, 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 dun. Is that intentional? That sucks. That's a Galactic War Store character. And it sucks. All that did was save me Galactic War currency. For a character I, do, I have no plans on getting anytime soon. <sighs> well, that's why I don't gamble. Why I don't gamble indeed. Magma Trooper just joins this host of inactivated character, or activated but not promoted characters that have no bearing on things. Um, updates, I... I am gonna hopefully get some relics on Scout Trooper, uh, but right now I just wanted to point out some of the characters I finished farming to seven stars. So Chief Sherpa here, of course. Um, and that means I only have two more Cantina farms for um, uh, Leia characters. Uh, well, kind of three characters, but two nodes, because Lobot it comes along for free with Lando, so that's nice. And then I have uh, Mr. Harrison Ford in the, I don't know, the winter coat here. Um, so yeah, not too bad. I, I might go back to signal data farming, but I'm, I still have plenty right now. Uh, my squads for farming for normal energy are looking a little light, and that is because um, if you watch my assault battle video, you'll, you would have noticed that I finished Mara Jade to seven stars, uh, but then I also finished Boosh, uh, Leia to seven stars. So that is 140 energy. I no longer have to spend on those characters now. And I feel like I have a nice base of characters. Assault battles are going good. I'm really focused on the Leia farm. So I do not need to, I don't feel the need to add in new characters to farm. Uh, the next one I'll finish will probably be Chewbacca. These ship, these are just for the ships. That'll, they'll be in there for a very long time. Uh, but as these guys start dropping, I might even stop Echo at some point because I don't need him at seven stars. I was just trying to take care of him. Um, I'm going to just be farming Kyrotech. So that's going to be a big thing. And before I go on looking over the rest of the roster, I am going to 
Try to take Scout to gear 13. Now, I bought all the shipments. We just finished a TB, and we also just finished a raid, so I am flushed with resources right now. Um, so I could spend 100 crystals and roll the dice trying to get three Kyra tech, or I could spend 280 crystals and take a guaranteed 10. Let's just roll the dice. And zero. So again, why I don't gamble. I just, I don't want to wait, so I'm going to get this. And I, uh, my, my crystals are looking light. I'm feeling like I have an empty wallet now. Um, GC will start again this week, so hopefully that'll get us back up. Um, this affects the mods, so how much do we gain? Man, that's a lot of extra health and protection that we got. Okay, let's go to Relic 7, hopefully. Oh, yeah, um, I can click outside the, the PC client now and it won't minimize. That is fantastic. That was so annoying. That was like the biggest reason that I, um... What stuck to blues text for a while uh, But now when I click out it turns off the sound So you're going scout trooper. I tried Forest moon with scout trooper gear 12 Because um, she was seven stars and I didn't have Marge yet, but was not Helping enough. She, I mean she doesn't really slot the best onto that Palpatine team. She's best with Dark trooper mop Gideon yeah, this is where the signal data stockpile is very nice. Um, really going to be feeling the need to stock back up my dark blues. Uh, let's look at the situation. Okay, so I'll be left with 120. Well, let's just let's just do it. Finish off instead of doing the math. There we go. Relic seven, ready for Leia. And my camera is brought blocking the little check thing, but you saw a little bit over here. Uh, so I need more rhodium heat sinks. Chromiums are fine. I This is what I spend most of my tier 3 raid currency on. So I always keep that topped up. Because I don't want to have to convert all those pieces. Uh, and then I'll, I add some zin middles as needed. I should only need two more R7 characters um, for Leia. Uh, I'll double check that. Don't need any R8s. Uh, but yeah, Sigma Data I'm still doing great on. And this will be nice um, for 3v3, really, because I can just throw Scout with Aiden, even though Aiden's not that tough on my roster currently. And yeah, it'll be it'll be more of a threat on defense. 5v5, I'll probably, I mean, I'm probably only going to run one Imperial Trooper team, so I'll probably use Scout instead of uh, Stark. And I don't really need the Zetas on her because they're all about Imperial Remnant teams. So that's nice. I get to save on those. So on favorites. And this is what we're looking like for Leia. Yeah, four of the relics done. And they're the higher relics. So, you know, once I start getting to the end, it'll be the easier ones. Uh, here are the more useful ones. I have my favorites. Cheap Chirpa, I actually did start gearing up some, so he's gear 10. Um, guys, I will have use for my Ewoks um, when Endor Escalation comes around. So I have enough four star Ewoks, I can start earn earning extra Wicked Shards. Then when it's Wicked seven stars, I can actually get some Zetas. Uh, so that is fantastic. Um, Nisa, well, once I relic Nisa, she'll be the one-man show. I'll just be able to, like, unlock c 3 pier so easily. Actually, where am I looking? What am I looking like for unlocking c 3 po Star count? I mean, once Wicked's at five stars, I can unlock c 3 po Uh, and it, even, even, like, a gear, low gear c 3 po is pretty nice slotted on that CLS team. Don't need Zetas, you don't need tons of stats. I uh, just need a little bit of survivability. I was feeling good with all that. The next thing for Boosh is a Kyra Tech. Uh, so now that I fight, like, I feel like there was a long pause or long break in the action from relicking characters because I was just distracted by so many uh, intermittent Kyra Tech pieces I was applying. Uh, one of those, I've 
I've been talking about it for the longest time. I finally gave it to Mando. So he was gear 8. Now he's gear 10. Um, he stopped again. I'm not going to give that one to him. So I unfavorited him. I also remodded. I hadn't looked at his mods in a while. They were terrible. He had less than 10,000 protection. He was flimsy. And now he has 32,000 protection. So he will actually be usable in 5v5. And to add on to that, I finally gave Grief Karga his Zeta. Because I would look... I. I, I got my Zeta like today, like I got 20 Zetas, and I was like, you know, it's hard. You know, I have most of the slam dunk Zetas that would apply to me, and they're apply to the teams I have currently. So I was, I'm always kind of like, I don't know which one to give now, which is a great problem to have. And I was just like, you know, that transforms him so much. Having the cleanse is just such a big deal. So my bounty hunters are actually going to be kind of useful. Hopefully, in 5v5. I mean, if I'm only playing people with tons of relics, it'd be kind of iffy. But I have a gear 12 and then four gear 10s. Um, if I use Boosh, if I decided to use Boba, then it's a gear 9. Uh, it's tough. I don't know. It just depends. I mean, stats-wise, Boba's pretty flimsy, but he does revive. And Boosh isn't really built for that team, but she does... Get some thermals out there. So I don't I don't know. We'll have to decide. I mean Bo, Bo was a more natural fit. Um, but that is looking good. I mean I need a lot of squads for GAC. Even Sith Empire. I don't know if I need to give Revan. So I give if I give Revan another Chirotech, I can get him to gear eleven. I might do that for Grand Arena, because I don't have three at gear eleven, and these three can actually do a good bit. Um, so you have Bastila. Is she going first? Ah, uh, no. So Darth Ren fears everyone. Bastila spams the debuffs. They hopefully take a turn, and the HK is really slow bringing up the rear. And hits him with Havoc. Um, pops the staggers. And then you go through again. Pop the lightning. AoE lightning with Bastila Shan. Uh, and the big damage. So it's actually a nice triple combo. And you could take out some some stuff even in even 3v5 oh what else what else han is getting closer and closer to seven stars lackadaisically now i'll just go ahead and pick up a trail one just so she gets started i am not rushing on her i actually i don't need to favor her right now because not doing anything anytime soon Ein's another one of these that's begging for a, 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 a Chirotech. Um, someone commented, I I had a lot of back and forth with them in this comment thread, and they asked me about it, but I want to address it clearly in a video. So they said, oh, you have so many characters that have all five of their Gear 12 and Gear 12 Plus pieces. Why don't you just spend some time getting, farming Chirotech and getting them to Gear 13 because they're way better. Yes, it is obviously true that they are all way better at Gear 13 than Gear 12. However, what I'm actually getting from all those doesn't add up for those Chirotechs at all. Uh, Wrecker is the, probably the one I do the soonest from these, just to improve the ship. But I, you got to look at what you're actually getting out of any Chirotech applications. I talk about it all the time. Uh, Bosk. Houndstooth would be better, so th those have good arguments just from ships. Yoda, I might do a little bit better in the raid, but he's not going to change too much. Mace Windu, they're not going to change too much of what rewards I'm getting. I'd rather devote everything to uh, getting teams to minimum viability, like Mando not dying all the time, or I'd rather work on stuff for Leia, like getting Scout Trooper ready, relicking it. I want to get this done as fast as possible now. Like, I've taken care of my basic infrastructure i have six challenge tier ones done three challenge tier twos in assault battles um i have a pretty broad roster for galactic challenges I'm just overall feeling pretty good so i feel like i can gun right at that uh at leia um ships wise it's rough because i need four fleets and i don't really have amazing fleets so i got negotiator which is top notch um, then I have semblance of an empire team. Um, and I could probably run Houndstooth with that. It's going on offense now because I, I need the best chance to clear. And these two give me my best chance, even though it's probably 
Not so great. I mean, Negotiator is the only fleet I have confidence in beating anything. I'm going to have an empty clip on defense. It's going to be a Rebel fleet, which I just added Wedge. Um, home one, I just got seven star, actually. And that reminds me, I can attempt um, the Chimera event uh, with a uh, seven star home one and i have an extra character extra warm body to throw in there uh, i don't know if i want to spend those omega mats there but uh, we can hop on over try this um it would be nice if i got why it started the y Rebel Y-Wing does not show up in the Galactic War Store super often. Um, this is what I want to use in the starting lineup. I mean, Akbar, maybe I can... Hmm, I don't have many of these. Uh, like, I mean, I need him for Leia, so that makes it easier to pull the trigger on him for upgrades. Uh, sure, I guess. Yeah. Just upgrade him a little bit for it. Okay. I don't know. I, I probably won't unlock here. Or, or get the seven star chimera, but give it a shot. Gauntlet first, because the weakest. Come on, pick an S. Okay, that's good. Mm. I actually have a reinforcement. The, the last time I did this, I had no reinforcements at all. And it's a warm body to take some hits. Yeah, one hit. <laughs> one hit KO. I gotta dodge that. Like, the problem is, Nightmare's gonna get an insta kill anytime now. And then I'll be. Yeah, that is. Yeah, I don't quite have the firepower. Not a huge rush, but, you know, maybe if I work on Biggs a little bit, work on Wedge. I need Wedge for to unlock Jedi Knight Luke. Um, and his journey. I need Millennium Falcon. Yeah, so I just need those two. So I, I got I, I I was farming Wedge just in Galactic War Store. It seems like it took forever, but I didn't talk about it too much. So now now it's here. Some star Millennium Falcon. That's that's gonna be probably the biggest holdup. I'll be, man, I'll be really set up once I have Giant Knight Luke and Leia. So Leia, 5 out of 16. So, so Nisa and Drogon. Oh no, 3. Nisa, Drogon, and 3 good Chewie. So 3 Relic 7s. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 Relic 5s. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 Relic 3s. I mean, the Relic levels right now don't feel like that much of a burden. Except for Bronzium, that's that's a big thing. Um, I need to get some more of these too. Yeah, except for Bronzium, doesn't feel like a huge burden. Um, I pick up some symbols. Because uh, I need 30. Because I need three more Relic 7s. After that, I can kind of stop. Or another for Leia herself. And now, since I'm just going to have to relic so many characters, I just go pick up the pieces I have the least of instead of, like, trying to figure out exactly who I'm going to work on next needs. 
Rolo's coming right along. Almost six stars. I'm not trying to like like rush rush through her, but just prepping her because she might be you know one of the last ones I get done. Uh, and with this currency, I pretty much leave most of it for the find function. Like when I specifically need a piece, come here and do that. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, I started farming Nest, uh, not because she's going to be that important, but I just wanted a, a third Smuggler at six stars to start getting five dot mods from Smuggler's Run. And she was kind of close anyway, so I'm just trying to get her the last star up to six. I'm farming this more because I need more of a Rebel Fleet. And I also, since I finished off uh, Scout Trooper, that opened up another farm uh, for ship energy. We got Outrider, and Tide Defender is getting ever so close. And then with the normal energy, or normal nodes, the rest of my energy, eh, not too much right now. I like to farm this node, because um, this is a popular piece. It's got some bronzium materials, and then this is an uh, in-demand piece too, so it, it's a nice, nice deal. Um, another farm... Some other farm I was thinking. Maybe I don't have any other farms I needed to apprise everyone of. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of nervous about GAC, but you know, Lay is coming along good. Prepping for all these pieces as much as I can. Caratech still dominating the considerations, but that's yeah, still going pretty good. Um, I think that's it. So thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it, and see you next week.